I, I just briefly mention the histology um, because I think it's, it's useful to make a distinction with other things. In UIP, uh, IPF, the histology is heterogeneous. So if you look over here, you have normal alveoli, but in, then you look over here, they're thickened, they're thickened. And it's that heterogeneity that allows the pathologist to make the diagnosis. The interstitium is very thickened in some areas and relatively normal in others. And you have these other findings that they look for, like fibroblastic foci. Um, and they can see honeycomb cysts, but we can see them as well. So the classic CT findings are going to be reticular opacities, which I'm showing with the purple arrow, traction bronchiectasis with a yellow arrow, honeycombing now with a red arrow, and these drawings are courtesy of my colleague uh, Annie Frazier, I should mention, and their predilection, and this is, this is the, another thing which is not a finding, but it's a, a, it's a location, and that is basilar subplural predilection. Those are the big four for the IPF UIP or PF UIP, okay? And as I mentioned, non-optimal, we talked about ground glass, we talked about mosaic attenuation air trapping, and I didn't mention, but nodules obviously are not uh, a really good thing for uh, UIP, IPF. And this is just an, another example showing many of those things with honeycombing, with traction bronchiectasis, some areas up here perhaps of reticulation, and also showing that it's subplural and basilar predominance. Now, if it gets severe enough, the basilar predominance may start to disappear. But nonetheless, I mean, that would certainly be the classic. Just another example, same thing, 